Hey everyone, it's Carissa at Sprinkled with Glitter and today I'm here with a video tutorial and I really wanted to make a card featuring this Hey Girl stamp set. This is from the June Studio Calico release and it's designed by Mama Elephant. I'm also using the card basics from Studio Calico as well as these washi strips and some of the pattern papers that came in the Galileo card kit this month. So I will start out with these kind of messy scribbly circles. I don't know exactly what you would call them. And you see I've chosen my ink colors there. I'm going to use some colors that are inspired by the pattern papers in the kit. And I'm starting out with the Flamingo ink by Studio Calico. And I'm stamping the larger of those swirly scribbly circles there. And I am cleaning my stamp with the absorber here. Now I told you I would talk a little more about this on my blog, so I'm going to tell you about it. It is actually a car drying cloth, but they stay wet. You store them wet, and so that dampness is enough to clean your stamps off. And I love it because it doesn't leave any lint on my stamps when I clean them, and it gives them a nice clean, just like a baby wipe would do. So if you need a deeper clean, you might want to use like some Ultra Clean from Hero Arts, but I've been really loving this absorber in my craft room. So I've stamped the smaller one a couple of times in the Limelight ink from Studio Calico and also the Glass Slipper ink, and I've just created a stamped grouping there in the bottom right-hand corner of my card. And now I'm taking this big, bold Hey Girl sentiment and mounting it onto my block and stamping it in some VersaFine Black Onyx ink. And I just love the bold black, big, huge sentiment against all these bright, fun colors at the bottom. So I'm just cleaning my stamp once again. You'll see here I have quite a bit of ink on this absorber, but they are machine washable. I haven't washed mine yet, so I'm looking forward to trying that out, but I'm getting this all ready to store back on the carrier sheet. And then I'm going to bring in these washi strips. This is from the Studio Calico Galileo card kit. And this little heart strip here is what I want to use, but it was a little wide for what I needed. So I'm just lining it up in my trimmer, and I am just going to trim part of the way up. I'm just kind of eyeballing about half of that, but you'll see I didn't cut all the way up to the top edge because I want these to stay connected as one piece. And so I'm just going to use a little piece of that and then mount it below that sentiment and stamped grouping there. And I'll just trim it with my scissors to make it the length that I want it. Now I've grabbed this You Are Love stamp from the Hey Girl stamp set as well, and I'm going to white heat emboss it on this black cardstock. So I'm using my EK Success powder tool to prep the surface of my cardstock and keep the embossing powder from sticking to places that I don't want it. And I'm going to ink my stamp up in some Versamark ink, and then I'll stamp it right along the bottom of that black cardstock. And then I can add some super fine detail white embossing powder and tap off the excess. I'm going to heat my heat tool up a little bit before I take it to my cardstock, and that's going to prevent a lot of warping. And just remember when you're embossing, only heat until it's melted, and try to keep your heat tool moving as well, and that'll prevent scorching and warping as well. So I've taken this black cardstock over to my trimmer and trimmed down that sentiment piece, and now I'm just making a little V cut in the end by trimming a little slit in the middle and then trimming from each corner up into that slit and that gives me the perfect shaped little fishtail in there. Now I have these little heart dies. This is from the I Do stamp, stamp and Die Set by Kelly Perky. It's also from the Studio Calico June release. And I'm going to cut several of the pattern papers from the kit out with these little hearts here. And I'm also adding a little bit of this blue and white grid paper from this Galileo kit as well. And I'm just making a little grouping of some pattern papers here at the bottom. So you see that washi tape and then the grid pattern. And then I'm going to add this heart that I cut out using some of the limey, kind of yellowy green from the card kit. And then I will add this embossed sentiment strip right over the top of that heart to create another kind of little grouping down here at the bottom. And once again, I'm just loving all of this black and white and the bold colors. So I have two more hearts that I've cut out here using various pattern papers from the kit, and I'm going to mount them onto the front of my card using some foam adhesive. One is kind of a pink color, and the other one is the black and white polka dot, which is kind of the negative space of that same paper. And now I'll use my We Are Memory Keepers 3 8 inch corner chomper to round the bottom right hand corner of this card. 
Now, I thought it needed a little something more, and the perfect addition to this card was just a little bit of sparkle. So I'm using a little multi-medium from Ranger. This is the matte finish to add some pretty pink posh metallic gold sequins. And this, I used a variety of the four millimeter and six millimeter sequins here and just kind of sprinkled them through there. And that was the perfect finishing touch for this really girly card. So here's one more look at the final card. I just love this stamp set and I really urge you to pick it up while it's still available over at Studio Calico because I have a feeling that these will go quick. As always, I've linked all the products used in this project in the description at YouTube, as well as over at my blog at sprinkledwithglitter.com where you can see more still photos and get more information as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a fabulous day.